We are on the scene of developing story here at the Sawgrass Mills Mall in Sunrise where police uh, have called in the SWAT team and this is tied to the investigation of a homicide uh, in Vero Beach. With us live right now is Officer Chris Piper. What can you tell us about what's happening here at the Sawgrass Mills Mall? Yeah, right now we're trying to make contact with the possible suspect. Our officers uh, got information that he may be in the area of Sawgrass Mills Mall. Um, they located the vehicle. He was uh, in the rooms to go parking lot, and right now we're securing the area, trying to safe, safely make contact with them and keep everybody safe in the neighborhood. What can you tell us about the suspect? It's Pedro Torres wanted in connection with the murder of his 45-year-old wife, Vicky Torres, in Vero Beach Sunday morning. What can you tell us about this? Yeah, the only information I have is the same that you have, that uh, he was involved in an incident in Indian River County, and uh, that they put that information out that they were trying to locate him, possibly in a suspect in that murder. And you're urging people to stay away from on the east side of the Sawgrass Mills Mall, uh, Flamingo and Sunrise Boulevard at this point. Yes, please do so. Um, this area is on lockdown right now. We're trying to safely make contact with this uh, person. And uh, we, we urge that people stay away so that they're not caught in traffic or possibly in the incident itself. So you're not sure if you've uh, been able to make contact with this person at all, but he is driving a light uh, green Toyota Sienna. That is the victim's van, right, officer? That, that vehicle is known to be registered to the victim, yes. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So this is the story we'll be following today from the Sawgrass Mills Mall. Sunrise police here on the scene. It is sealed off. They're urging people to stay away from the east side of the mall. Sawgrass Mills Mall here at Flamingo Road uh, and Sunrise Boulevard as they are trying to determine if, in fact, the suspect in this homicide is here. We'll have much more on this story tonight on CBS 4 News.